Hey guys, my name's Sully, and in less than a week, the Battlefield 4 community has cracked the fourth phase of the Phantom Program. If you haven't been following the epic quest for all the puzzle pieces, here's the short version. To unlock the Phantom Bow and Phantom Operative Assignment that are part of the fourth phase, you need to do the following. First, you need to unlock all three of the previous Phantom Assignments. Once you've done this, equip the right side dog tag and apply the weapon and soldier camo to all your loadouts. You'll need that later. Then you need to find at least one of the new premium dog tags hidden all over the four final stand maps. If you haven't found any tags yet, I've left a link in the description below for the ongoing guide the community has been building to track the locations of these tags. I found the only tag that I have so far on a round of TDM, so keep at it. Once you have a left side premium dog tag, equip that as well. After you have one or all of those premium dog tags, you'll need to find three other people who have unlocked all phantom assignments and at least one other final stand premium dog tag. Between the four of you, you need to equip one each of those dog of those dog tags on the left and the phantom dog tag on the right. This, as you'll see right here in this footage, will get the elevator in the back of A on Hangar 21 activated and all four of you down to the phantom room without a single death. Each time those lights go out, and I think it's two or three times, someone will die if they're not properly equipped. Once you're down in the room, you'll need the password to disable the force field that's in front of the bow compartment, and the community just cracked this puzzle today after putting together the numbers hidden in Morse code across all four of the final stand maps. I'll drop that code in the description below as well. Once inside the room, run across and grab that bow, and to activate the phantom operative assignment, you'll need to jump on top of this electronic cabinet right here or whatever in the corner of the room. On top is a sheet of paper right there that you can be interacted with. Once you do that, you'll receive your phantom operative orders and you're off to the races to get those 200 kills and 50 headshots with the bow to unlock the phantom operative dog tags. And that's it. The road to the Phantom Room has been pretty frustrating, quite honestly, since the launch of Final Stand, but after spending a few rounds in game playing with the bow, I can say it has been totally worth it, at least for me and my personal opinion. I'd like to give a huge shout-out and a thank you to X-Factor and his Wookiees, with whom I unlocked the bow on Sunday. This footage is actually of my second time running down to the room, helping a few other people on the server in TeamSpeak get the bow and the assignment, which is why you don't actually see the unlock prompts show up on my screen when I grab the bow, and then I also get my orders from the top of the electronic cabinet. So on my screen here, it wasn't selectable, that piece of paper, but it will be the first time that you see it. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you need more background on the other Phantom Program assignments, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel. I'll put a link to the playlist I put together in the description below, along with all the other stuff I've mentioned before. Thanks so much for taking the time, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for in-game guides, creative gameplay edits, and some squad-based rounds with other YouTubers. I'm over here on Sully Gaming. Until next time, guys and gals, my name's Sully, and I'll see you on the battlefield.